Good evening. The city of Shafter holding a town hall tonight discussing the recruitment of their new city manager. This coming after the city's council voted three to two in August to accept the resignation of former city manager Scott Hurlbert. The vote not popular with some local residents. 23 ABC's Josh Sanders joins us in studio. He was at the town hall as people shared their thoughts on the next city manager. Josh. Good evening, Tim and Jessica. Like you mentioned, that vote to accept Hurlburt's resignation wasn't necessarily popular. Many at the time saying the city wasn't being transparent about the reason he was leaving. Several people at the town hall told me tonight was a step towards moving on. Now the meeting was held at the Shafter Police Department. Residents could also provide input while watching on Facebook Live. The city hiring a recruitment agency to assist in finding a new manager, asking residents to consider several questions as they begin the hiring process, such as why Shafter is a great place to live. Locals saying the city is a great place to raise a family that is forward thinking and a peaceful community. They also discuss challenges the new manager will face pointing to issues surrounding homelessness, the environment and resources for those struggling with addiction. Residents that express what they were looking for in the manager saying they want the person to be available to the community and hopefully live within the city limits. They want a manager that will be strong uh, when it comes to leadership and experience working with city budgets and the ability to engage all types of people. Overall, tonight's town hall a positive for the former mayor Kathy Prout. Those responses really hit hit right on target because like I said, what we have been working on in the past up to today will now have an opportunity to keep growing because there is future growth in this community and we want it to be quality. And with that quality, next steps involve the recruitment agency writing a brochure and presenting it to city council for a vote to find uh, to go ahead and finding the next manager. Recruiter Josh Jones says the process will typically take three to four months. And after the controversy behind Herbert's exit, the community's input is crucial in this hire. And what we hope this process will do is to help kind of reunify um, the city and the community, help them to focus in on the most important goals and maybe set aside, you know, some of the divisive things of the past and uh, try to find a candidate who can, you know, best meet those positive uh, interests and goals of the community. And with that tonight, very positive for most of the community. Jones told me they will take the holiday season into account as they identify qualified candidates. He says he's confident they will find the right candidate in that three to four month timeline. Of course, this is something we'll continue to follow on our social media platforms and website at turn to 23.com in studio. Josh Sanders, 23 ABC connecting you. Josh, thanks. All